This is gonna make the rest of this trip, particularly around Charleston, West Virginia, so much easier. Hey everyone, I'm at a Tesla supercharger in Lexington, North Carolina, and I understand that perhaps the Kia Nero EV charging issue with the Tesla superchargers may have been resolved somewhere in the back end, not requiring an update in the car itself. So I'm gonna give this another try. I'm gonna go get my adapter, plug into one of these. Uh, I've fired up my Tesla app. It's showing this location as one that is eligible for charging with an adapter. Let's give it a try. All right, I'm gonna pick stall 1D. I've got my electron adapter. Hopefully this cord will reach from there over to my charge port. I'm gonna pick the Lexington, North Carolina supercharger. I'm gonna say charge here. Okay, 1D. I haven't tried the length yet. Okay, start charging. 50 cents per kilowatt hour. Attach adapter and plug in. All right, let's try it. Sure it's properly seated. Fingers crossed. Initializing charging. May take up to one minute. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is working. It's giving me the state of charge. Woohoo! Charging on a Tesla supercharger on a Kia Niro EV works. This is so awesome. I'll have the screen recording on as well, but I'm seeing here 70%. There's my charging fees. Charging rate 41 kilowatts, which I'm not surprised at that state of charge. I've already gotten a kilowatt hour in two minutes. See what my dash says here. So I have it set to charge to 90%. So it's telling me 11 minutes to 80%, which is kind of its default. And then 30 minutes to 90%, which I'm not gonna stick around that long anyway. All right, those of you with Nero EVs, go get your adapters. There'll be a link in the video below. A uh, couple good brands. I like the Electron, I like the A to Z. Uh, I've got a 5% off coupon. So I am an affiliate, full disclosure. Go grab yourself one of those and see if it works for you. I didn't do any software updates. Uh, it must have all happened on the back end. All right, so now I wanna stop the charge. So I gotta go into the app and there's a button here for stop charging. Obviously, if your car reaches its charge limit, it'll stop as well. And I could probably push one of the buttons, but I don't really like doing that. So I'm gonna use the stop charging button. All right, I heard a click in the car and it gives me a confirmation Charging stopped. So now I should just have to reverse pulling the adapter out. Okay, it wasn't locked into place anymore. I gotta push this release button here. Get it out. There we go. Now it's it's twisted a little differently than it normally is. I just hang it back up. Man, I can't tell you how excited I am. This is gonna make the rest of this trip, particularly around Charleston, West Virginia, so much easier. Thanks for sticking with me on this, and we'll see you next time.